A lot of us remember getting an alert on our phones in March of 2020. It told us the state's stay home order was going into effect and all non-essential travel was prohibited. Since then, there's been a lot of debate over the positive and negative impacts of that early pandemic lockdown. And now comes a new study from the University of Michigan comparing lives saved and lost. Grant Herms has been digging into this all afternoon for us. And Grant, we know the governor's office has repeatedly said the stay home order saved lives, but the study also supports some arguments that her critics have put forth as well. Yeah, there's something in this, no matter which side of this controversy you fall on. If you're in favor of those early shutdowns, there's some compelling evidence here that those were a good idea. If you're against them, this study shows that there were some people hurt way more than other groups of people. What this study also really shows is just how complicated responding to this pandemic was in those early days. In a first of its kind study, University of Michigan researchers looking at the cost and benefits of lockdowns in the first six months of the pandemic, not in dollars, but in number of lives and years to live. According to the study, lockdowns beginning in March of 2020 saved between 866,000 and 1.7 million lives through stay at home and other orders. The recession caused by shutting down cost far fewer lives between 58,000 and 245,000. But things get less clear when talking about years of human life, precious time held on to or lost with loved ones. The study estimating between 5 million and 9 million years of human life was saved, but between 2 million and 9 million years were lost. Who benefited most and least was also looked at, the lockdowns overwhelmingly benefiting the elderly and disabled, who likely had fewer years to live, versus the negative impacts on the younger workforce. Although the study's lead researchers saying their findings aren't for or against shutdowns. What our results suggest is that the approach potentially saved more lives than what the collateral mortality might have been from the, from the economic recession. When you evaluate uh, the quality adjusted life years, the results are more ambiguous, but it's not an endorsement of that approach itself. It's possible that a shorter set of lockdowns, a less restrictive approach to our economy might have produced better results, but we will never know. Now, the researchers do say their study has some limits because they just looked at the first six months of the pandemic before we had therapeutics and effective vaccines. But no matter which way you look at this, this will likely add fuel to this controversy that has now been going for almost two years. Back to you. Yeah, lots of opinions really on both sides. Okay, Grant, thank you.